Welcome back, awesome YouTubers. This is part 50 of this amazing game. It seems like we have a question mark mission here. Let's see what this is all about. We go in here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we have something. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Hello. Mon ami. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Mm. Mm. How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. Mm. Asshole. Mm. <laughs> that too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have <laughs> that right here. <laughs> I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, <laughs> that is truth. Breasts <laughs> is truth. Art. It's for idiots. You say so. Uh -huh. Trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <laughs> <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. What, what, what was that all about? Inspect document. Nice one. Okay. That was an uh, actual mission. Calm down. Let's see. Should we go to this next question mark? Just follow the road here. Check out the next one. See if there's anything interesting here. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. <laughs> You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry today. Yeah, sure. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, uh, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but uh, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Lysandini is acting as a staging post. 
for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Investigate the shop. Glad to see you again, sir. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, yo. Mister. Sir. Lei Hao. Let's investigate that shop. Is it here? Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. Search for clues of the captives whereabout. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Okay. Let's do that. Open the fake bookcase. They made me do it, I swear. Hello? Shh, gadgete, gadgete. Ah, quién es? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Free. Let's free these poor souls. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. <laughs> Help, please. Please, I'm on your side. It's going to be okay. Return to the monk. Nice one, Arthur. Gracias, that señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're going to be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. How much farther? Poor bastards. There he is. Here's the monk. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that, they're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you, I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give to the poor. I don't need them. To the pool, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Good one, Arthur. Okay, if you like this small mission, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. Toodaloo.